Yeah, let's go to Harper's Ferry. Oh, look, I'm in Harper's Ferry in 1859. Oh, you must be John Brown. Yes, I am. Could you tell us your story? Sure. When I was around 12 years old, I had an enslaved friend who was also 12. One day, I saw him getting, get beaten by a fireplace shovel by the hands of his master. From that point on, I vowed to just stop slavery at some point in my life. So in 1859, I gathered an army of 21 men and went to Harbor Ferry. My intention was to raid it and free all the slaves there. So I hid in a firehouse, held hostages, but some of my men were captured and some of them were killed. I was among the captured. I am scheduled to be hung on December 2nd this year. Well, thanks for your time. I really learned a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Brown certainly had a lot of courage and passion. I mean, who would have the courage to do that? Yeah, I mean, leading an army of only 21? That's pretty small. And, like, seriously, and actually, no one would be brave enough to do that other than him. Yeah, and he had great leadership skills. Well, I think we should go visit Claire Barton in 1865 in the, during the Civil War. Let's sure. go. Come on. Oh, look, we're here in 1865 in the middle of the Civil War. And you must be Claire Barton. Yes, yes, I am. Can you tell us about how you got here? Yes. When I was young, I was the first woman teacher to teach in an actual school. And then, when the Civil War started, I wanted to heal all the wounded soldiers. After that, I made the American Red Cross Association. Oh, sounds great. And it sounds like you, re you really made a path for other women to step forward and actually take a chance. Mm hmm Well, thanks for the time. We really enjoyed it. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you all another time. I did learn a lot about Claire Barton. I do think she's a great leader. And she led a bunch of women. I mean... At that time, women weren't courageous enough to do that. I mean, imagine the world if she hadn't paved the path for all the women today. Yeah, I think that makes her a great leader. Who else do we have to learn about? Well, didn't George C. Marshall win the, world, the Second World War? Oh yeah, and he came up with the Marshall Plan. Let's go ask him and learn about it. Sure. Oh wow, you must be at the Donna Manor in 1944. Are you George C. Marshall? Yes, I am. Could you tell us the story about how you got this far? Sure. I went to military school in college, and then I went and fought in the Second World War. At that point, I was helping the U.S. Army defeat the Germans. Then, after that, after the war, I created something called the Marshall Plan. The plan was basically, I thought that, I thought of all the damage that was done in the war, so I sent building supplies, water, food, to the European countries that needed it the most. And I got, I got, very, I got a lot of gratitude from that, and I ended up winning the Nobel Peace Prize for the Marshall Plan. Hmm, that's very interesting. You must be a very, really great man. Impressive. Thanks. Well, we had a lot of fun with this leadership video and all, but we also learned that a leader needs to have a true passion and determination. Yeah. And you never give up. Never give up. And no, also, and also humility. Yeah, and also to have courage and never give up. That's basically true heart. And well, that's why we chose the three leaders to be our.